Welcome to Linux Hints YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over a list of system calls in Linux. We are going to try out a few of them in our C programming language to see what kind of output do we get. First things first, there is a link in the description box that will take you to the list of all the system calls in Linux. This list is present on Linux Hints website. But do you know what a system call actually is? A system call is when a user program makes a request to the kernel. There are some notes about this poll guide. These are that calls that have been long deprecated or removed have been omitted. Items pretending to be outdated or infrequently used architectures are generally omitted as well. Structures are defined only once. If a structure is mentioned and cannot be found in the system call, please search the document for its definition. Now this is a list of all the system calls of Linux system which we can use by using the programming language C. Now as you can see it is a quite a long list and right after this list each system call is very precisely defined. The syntax of the system call is defined along with the arguments that the function takes. Now if you were to try out some of the system call that I have taken from this list then I would just simply move on to this directory here I have randomly picked some system calls and wrote a C program for it. The links to these programs will be mentioned in the description box below. So first up we have the calloc function. What the calloc function does is that it is used for dynamically allocating some memory space. In this program we are asking the user the number of elements that he wants to store inside an array. And then we are allocating the exact amount of memory that those elements might require by using the calloc function. And then we are just simply checking if the memory allocation was successful or not. And if it is successful, then we are going to populate the array and display the content of the array to the user. At the very end, we are going to free the dynamically allocated memory blocks. So let's test it out. I'm going to open up a terminal and going to execute this program, which is the calloc. As you can see, it is asking me about the number of elements that I want to use. Let's say I want to use 5 elements. The program is prompting me that the memory was successfully allocated. Now I can populate the array. So I'll just populate the array by putting some simple basic integer values like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And there you go. The memory blocks were dynamically assigned depending upon my input by using the calloc system call. Next up we have the fork system call. Well a fork system call is used to create a child process of a parent process. The main thing to note is that the program that calls the fork function is known as the parent process. The process that is created as a result of this fork system call is known as the child process. Here we are actually calling the fork system call to create a child process and by observing the return value, we are actually identifying whether it is a child process or a parent process. So let's execute this program to see if it works or not. I'm going to open up a terminal and execute this program by typing in dot slash fork. And there you go, we have two outputs on our screen. One is when we were in the parent process and the other one is when we are in the child process. Next up is the free system call. We have already used this system call inside the calloc function but this time I'm going to explain what this does. So whenever we are working with dynamically allocated data, the C programming language or any program that asks for dynamically allocated memory cannot free the memory allocations itself. So that is why at the end of the program, we always free up the memory that we used. But remember, this is only when we are working with dynamically allocated memory locations. So what we are doing here in this program is that we are asking the user on the number of elements that he wants to use. And then we are reserving that amount of memory for the user program. And at the very end, we are actually freeing up the allocated memory that we used during this whole program. Now let's try and execute this free system call by opening up a terminal and typing in the command dot slash free. How many elements do I want? I want three elements. Now this is our array with enough memory allocated to store three elements. And at the very end we are getting a prompt that the memory was dynamically freed. 
Again, to check more information on Linux system calls, you can head over to this link that is present inside the description box. That would take you on Linux Hint's official website. Here you can check out the list as well as learn more interesting stuff about the Linux operating system. Now that was it for this very short tutorial. Now you know where to go to find a list of all the system calls for Linux operating system. Thank you.